poppin'? My name is Brennan Myers, and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to do more pull-ups absolutely instantly. This isn't BS, this is the truth. All right, so who you see right here is Nick. He was just grabbing the camera for me, and today I'm gonna be teaching you through him and his little turtle shirt. So we're gonna be going through this and I'm going to give you specific cues that you could be doing to instantly help your pull up. And Nick is a prime example because I taught him this stuff a long, long time ago. You know, so we're gonna get up there, go ahead and grab the bar. I'm gonna show you the bad form first. So his chin, it's tucked, it's good, but he's all the way stuck in his shirt. He's a turtle. Next is his hands. His thumb is under the bar, or over the, sorry, over the bar rather than under the bar. It needs to be the opposite. His elbows, they're fully extended. His shoulder, the, everything is just way too loose. His feet are dangling. He's swinging a little bit. His back and his spine is just way too extended and we need to correct it right now. Now what we're gonna be really focusing on is a few different things. So that hand placement. And what I want you guys to do is stand up for this right now, okay? So go ahead and show them a hand placement. So go ahead and just put your arms overhead. What we're gonna be focusing on is keeping that thumb under the bar, okay? And those elbows are going to be just slightly, slightly flexed here. And then the most important thing is really those retraction and depression of the scap. So as you can see, he goes up and then he comes down and he retracts. He's like squeezing like there's an apple or something in the middle of this. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is go ahead and grab the bar. Now his hands aren't gonna be too wide. They're not gonna be too close. It's a perfect sizing right there. His thumb, as you can see, is wrapped under the bar, that's perfect for working all those forearm muscles. His back right here, he's gonna tuck in his stomach. That's number one. And he's going to release and come back in again. And come in again. As you can see, he's retracting and depressing those scaps, stomach, everything's tight, everything, hands, everything, his feet are in front of him. His legs are completely tight and straightened out. And now he's gonna pull all the way up to the top of the bar with his chin and come right back down. And he's gonna pull straight back up and as you can see, he's extremely controlled through the whole movement and he's gonna drop down. Everything that he was doing was exactly what you should be doing and those cues you need to follow. So we're gonna show you one more time properly how you need to be following the pull up all the way from grabbing the bar to over the bar and you will instantly be able to do more pull ups and not only that, build enough strength to get even better at them long term. All right, so let's go ahead and jump up there. So, first of all, thumb is under the bar. He's squeezing with all of his fingers. Next, he's retracting and depressing those scaps. He's going to tuck in his stomach, use his core. Then he's gonna tighten up his quads, his calves, everything. Squeeze his legs together. And when he pulls up, he's going to go in a complete angle, come back down with the feet under the bar, in front of the bar, and go right back up as so, okay? Bad form will look like you're trying to swing. Bad form will look like you're just trying to kip up and do all these different things. Once you're loose is when you need to stop. If you are getting all loose and you're not tightening your core and all of that, you need to stop. So he's gonna show you a bad pull up right now. Bend his knees. Bend him backwards a little bit, just like that. This is a bad pull up. He's gonna be swinging forward and as he's going the momentum backwards, he's trying to pull up. And when you try and do that and he tries to pull up that way, now he's fighting even more gravity and even momentum. So focus on the proper pull up with the techniques that I just gave you and you will feel better throughout your whole movement and long term. So hopefully you enjoyed. Nick, how do you feel? Good man, that was great. Absolutely, right? So your, yeah. your thumb, everything, it's so important because he's working the muscles necessary and it's not only his back, it's his full body. And that's where you can produce the most power and strength long term. So there you have it. Thanks so much for tuning in for yet another video. I wanted to do this a little bit differently, holding the camera and teaching you at the same time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below with any videos that you want produced. I love you and stay tuned for the Creative Fitness Academy coming June 1st. It's going to be incredible. Incredible experts are a part of it. I've already announced Austin Dunham. I've announced Rob Lipset and I've announced Nick Bear. More people to come. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Peace.